Hello, I'd like to welcome our viewers across the country and around the world. My name is Attorney Alan Edmonds, and you're in the National Security Conference Room of the Edmonds Law Firm. Today, I want to talk about a very popular guideline that's used by the federal government to revoke or cancel or deny your security clearance. It's the second most common grounds upon which the government uses to take your clearance, and it's extremely important. My law firm, the Edmonds Law Firm, has been handling these cases for over 40 years. I have offices coast to coast, and I think I'm the number one lawyer in the DOHA, D-O-H-A system, which stands for the Defense Office of Hearings and Appeals. But today I want to respond to a lot of phone calls that I'm getting and a lot of emails about Guideline B of the Directive. And I have a copy of it here. The Directive is a DOD Directive called 5220.6 and Guideline B deals with the issue of foreign influence. The United States government has come down hard on people that have immigrated into this country from foreign lands. Of particular importance, of course, and it should be no surprise to you, are people that come from the Middle East, Iraq, Afghanistan, Kuwait, Lebanon, and Egypt, people that come from Russia, and people that come from the Pacific Rim, which includes China, Vietnam, Korea, and then finally, people from India and Pakistan. I have literally done hundreds of cases formal hearings for clients from those countries and the results of my hearings are all public. There are many, many slick websites that uh, try and grab you as a consumer with incredible representations, but when you test those rep uh, representations from the other attorneys and you go on the Doha site, you'll find out that they don't have the experience in many cases that they say they do. So I invite you to the DOHA, D-O-H-A, uh, Defense Office of Hearings and Appeals site and type in the name of the attorney that you think uh, you would like to hire for your case. And that brings me to a very important issue and I get asked this uh, often every week. Should you hire an attorney? And in Guideline B cases, foreign influence, my clients are from around the world. They're brilliant people. They're computer scientists, they're mathematicians, and the problem that they have is that they have a very thick accent and are difficult to understand. So when they appear in court by themselves, they have two strikes against them. No one can understand what they have to say. So the number one reason in these cases, guideline B, to get an attorney is because you want an attorney to be able to articulate and communicate with the court in a very effective manner. Guideline B says that there are conditions or situations that raise a uh, security concern. And you know what you see most common are relatives back in the country where you came from. Um, the relatives, foreign groups, government jobs. The United States is absolutely obsessed with foreigners that have relatives that have served in a foreign military and it's understandable. How do you get around that? Well the good news is that you can and the better news is that I have done it on numerous occasions. Finally we have other areas of concern which is failure to report foreign contacts and travel. Do you know you, as a citizen of the United States, even though you're a foreign immigrant, having immigrated to the United States, you have disclosure requirements. Usually they're through your employer, but when you travel, you have disclosure requirements and reports to fill out that have to be done accurately. So these are some of the areas of uh, Guideline B, Foreign Influence. The Directive 5220.6 then discusses how to mitigate these concerns. And the first is to show that the nature of the relationships and the country in which they're located is infrequent and not consistent. 
So if you have friends or family and you've applied for a security clearance, the United States government wants to see the number of contacts you have with those individuals to be diminishing. They don't want you to call your relatives every week. They don't want you to reach out to uh, friends that you've had professionally or socially every week. The second area is to demonstrate that there's no conflict of interest and this is very hard to do. This is an area where the government and the government attorneys really hit hard on the applicants. And that brings me to an important point. This is not a friendly environment. Guideline B cases are heard in a courtroom setting. There's an administrative law judge, there's a court reporter, there's a government attorney, and then there's you, and hopefully you've had the wisdom to hire an attorney that's not only experienced, but that knows how to win cases. So you can reach me at 800-481-2526. I welcome your calls. You can go on my websites, nationalsecurityclearances.com, and look at my bio, and please review all the cases. I want to thank you for this opportunity to speak to you, and I look forward to helping you get your security clearance.